Hey y'all. Just wanted to come in front of the camera for a minute or two or three or four. How's everyone day going? Facebook, I didn't own the rights to that song, okay? So y'all could uh, back it up. I don't sing that song. That's Drew Hill, okay? Back it up. So we still talking about this Monique situation. We still talking about this Monique in a bonnet. Uh, excuse me, bonnet. Okay, someone uh, said no, it's, it's bonnets. Look, bonnets, bonnets, you, you know what the fuck I'm talking about. Always trying to correct somebody. You know what the fuck I'm talking about. Don't try to correct me. Bonnet, bonnet, the shit you put in your head. You know what I'm talking about. Um, I just wanted to say something again because Monique said something again. She basically said, uh, she said what she said. And you ghetto ass women do not need to go to the airport with the uh, bonnets on. She made a second video. So I'm making a second response video, and my opinion is, Monique, still, you need to mind your damn business. You need to mind your business. If, if, if someone wants, a female, whoever wanted to show up to the airport in their pajamas and a, a, a bonnet, that's their business. You need to go find something to do. Go look on your phone. Go find a hobby. If somebody's at the airport dressed the way you don't like it, they ain't got nothing to do with you. That doesn't mean they don't take pride in their parents. It's just a feeling like this is how I wanted to show up to the airport. I'm not here trying to impress nobody. That's my opinion, and I'm sticking to it. And to you, uh, to you hoes out there talking about, oh, you're a gay guy. You shouldn't be speaking on that topic. This is about us ladies. Bitch, pick a finger. Pick a finger. Who the fuck is you to tell me what the fuck I can speak on? Is a topic Monique put out in the universe. If I want to get my two cents on the topic, bitch, I have every right. Just like you give, leave your little comments, bitch, I can leave my little opinion in my comments. Fuck you going to tell me I can't speak on a situation that's going on and uh, Monique spoke about. I feel like women should can whip the hell they want. If you want to walk through streets with a bonnet all day, that is your business. That's your body. You do what you want. Doesn't mean you're not taking pride in yourself. That's just my opinion. Like, like I get it. I get her message. I get the message that she's trying to deliver. Uh, 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 ladies do better and, uh, and, and, and all that nonsense. But, lady, you don't know what folks is going through. Leave people the hell alone. Stop talking about people. I get what you're saying, Monique, but I, I still disagree with you. Like, you can show up to the airport looking however the hell you want to look. Yes, I'm telling you that. If you go in there, you mind your damn business, ain't bothering nobody, you you can go in your damn panties. That's just how I feel. You all can agree with me. You all can disagree with me. Look, look. I, I'm telling you, I can't speak on the topic, but who the, who the fuck is you to tell me what the fuck I can speak on? Bitch, please. No, no, you, because you a follower. You follow everything that other people tell you to do, bitch. I'm not nobody's follower, bitch. If I disagree with something, I'm going to say I disagree. Something else I wanted to speak on while I'm giving my opinion um, is this whole, I've been seeing this story about Wendy Williams uh, and Angela Yee and Ms. Jones and Donnell Rollins, you guys know that Caroline's is back open in New York City. I'm, I really, I really don't find comedy shows my type of thing. Like I'm, you know, I guess because I'm the comic, you know, I don't find other comics funny. But um, they were at the comedy show, and I believe Wendy was next to Miss Jones. Miss uh, Jones is a, a radio personality, legendary, legendary, darling, legendary. Um, she's a radio, radio personality, and uh, she she spotted Angela Yee from the Breakfast Club on Power One Hundred Five, and she said, "Oh, let's all take a picture." So Angela Yee got up, Miss Jones got up, and they was waiting for Wendy to get up to take the picture. And Wendy was like, "I'm bitch, please, I'm not getting up. I'm not taking nobody's picture." 
And I guess they felt the way or Angela felt the way or whoever felt the way. It's like a story now that Wendy, uh, what they said, she snubbed Angela Yee. She didn't want to take the picture with Angela. And people were in the audience telling Wendy to uh, take the picture. Take the picture, girl. And you know how Wendy do with her face. She don't say now. She just, she make a face. And she was ignoring the picture, uh, the people, and she was just saying, no, I'm not taking no picture. My thing is, Wendy's not obligated to take a picture. If she did not want to take a picture, she didn't have to take a picture. Who was to say she wanted to, they ain't going to tell me, just get up and take, no, I'm not, I came here to laugh. I ain't come here to take no pictures. And then people were saying, maybe she had an issue with Angela Yee. We don't know. You know, um, Wendy has always said she's either black or white with you. There's no gray area. And, and I feel like that's the cancer thing. You know, we either like you or we don't like you. There's no um in between. Like, mm -hmm, no, it's I like you or I don't like you. So maybe she don't like Angela Lee. I don't know. We don't know what happened between the two. We don't know. We, we don't know. All I do know, Wendy's not obligated to take no damn picture with nobody. She always says she don't like pictures. So what the hell? I got I to gotta get up. You already know uh, Wendy got a situation with her feet. And you know I got to get up and take some... Oh, no, my feet hurt. I'm not taking no damn pictures. So I just feel like it's nothing to that story. Do you all feel like Wendy was obligated to take this picture? I, I don't. And Miss Jones, you... you I, I love Miss Jones. She, you know, she's so happy to be back here. She just want to just take pictures and, 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 and... I don't know. What do you all feel about the story? I, I just feel like there's no story. Wendy's not obligated to take no pictures. I'm not sure if there's an issue with her, Angela Lee. Let me know what you think about that. Let me know what you still think about the uh, the Monique situation. And you all have a good night. Bye-bye. And one more little thing I wanted to add about the whole Wendy Williams situation. You guys know Caroline's is where the situation of the situation with her marriage and a uh, mistress happened. The whole, you know, Calvin Hunter and, you know, Sharina, the mistress and all that. So maybe Wendy was in a moment for a second. You know, she's like, damn, I'm back up in this place. That's where the situation happened at. So she maybe was having a moment. Or maybe she just didn't want to take the goddamn picture. She's not obligated to take no picture, bitch. I give a fuck how you feel. I don't want to take no picture. Bitch, I came here to laugh. You don't, we can't do that. You know, we ain't got nothing to talk about. Bye.